Hello all, uh, welcome to BISP Self-Learning Cognos Framework Manager uh, Video Tutorial Collection. Today I am going to show you how to implement scope relationship, the scope relationship concept and how to do this hands-on with this. People are often confused uh, between relationship and scope, scope relationship. So in today's example I am going to clearly specify where and how to use a scope relationship and how it is different than your typical uh, joints or relationship. As you see in my screen, we are clearly shown over here the definition. The scope relation exists between your major and regular dimension. And they are used to define the level at which majors are calculated, are available for reporting. Now let's do this more practically in order to make it easy to understand. The scope relationship is also called in your typical uh, data warehousing concept called fully additive major and semi additive majors. So in order to make it simple to understand what I did in my current PPT I've taken two major and in order to make it easy to understand I keep only one dimension. So how does full a uh, fully additive major work? A fully additive major consolidate with respect to all dimension. Therefore we call fully additive major. So in this example you can see uh, I'm using sales is a major with respect to my time dimension. So my time dimension hierarchy is typically year, quarter and month and you see there's a month sales data for each month and the below diagram shows consolidation take place uh, from month to quarter. So naturally your month uh, quarter one sales is sum of January plus February plus March. So sales is getting consolidated uh, from time month to quarter and in turn consolidate to year. So we have taken one dimension, time dimension, the sales are getting consolidated at all level with respect to time dimension. We could have taken another dimension called product, customer, channel. So this is how this fully additive major work with aggregate at all level across multiple dimension. Whereas semi additive majors consolidate for some dimension at certain level. So scope relationship defines the major is going to associate at which level. Now in this example I have taken a simple uh, major called insurance premium. My assumption over here the insurance premium is to be paid on quarterly. However it is not paid on monthly. So the our, this uh, Excel slide uh, you know cell tells you there are four insurance premium to be paid for four different quarters. I could see with the yearly view of it, so if I want a yearly view of it, year 2010, total insurance premium paid is sum of all of them value. So total insurance paid for given quarter is sum of four quarter value. Uh, I take some value over here, exam, we take a sum of them, sum of four quarter. So my insurance premium is getting consolidated with respect to my uh, time dimension at level year and quarter. However, because insurance premium is associated quarter level, uh, when you go down, the kind of information or data we see is misleading and incorrect. So in other words, I, if I draw a hierarchy, year, you have a hierarchy year, quarter and month whereas sales is getting consolidated at all level so which I show with the green color a green color shows over here uh, the scope of sales Sco sales is a fully additive major therefore it is getting consolidated at all level however if you look at the same thing with respect to insurance premium insurance premium is getting consolidated or it's a valid intersection only for year and quarter. However, it doesn't have any uh, the scope for insurance premium is, premium is only year and quarter. There is no scope for insurance premium. So when I look at the same data with respect to time dimension called month, I get a misleading and incorrect information because you can see clearly over here the insurance premium is paid for quarterly. If I go down, drill down and look at the monthly view, the information 
seems not to be correct. It might give you misleading information as if you are paying three insurance premium for each month. This is all about concept. Let's see how it works. I will be using a quite familiar model which I have been using right from the first day in order to demonstrate the various aspects of framework manager. You see this is my a database view. Uh, I open this in a, a graphical model which make it easy to understand and I've got a couple of dimension country, product, promotion, time and channel and sales is my major or a fact. So in order to make it simple and easy to understand for now I take only one dimension and one major. So as I shown you in the previous classes my previous podcast uh, how to create a major hierarchy and your dimension hierarchy. So in this example I create a separate namespace called dimensional hierarchy, dimensional view and which has got uh, one time hierarchy which is dimensional hierarchy and major hierarchy. Right? Now important over here the how do you set the relationship? If you look at the graphical view of it, scope relationship, you look at the graphical view of it, you can see there's a kind of join. It appears to you there are two table and the join as your typical join between primary and foreign key. However, scope relationship is not a join. It defines the scope of a given major. So this is how it's a graphical view of it. Now if you look at the dimensional view, which gives you a complete picture about it. So in a major, I've got two majors, amount sales and insurance. Now if you look at amount sales, you find all hierarchy members show the yellow color. That specifies the scope of your amount sold. Or in simple word, amount sold is getting consolidated from month, quarter and year. Whereas if I look at insurance premium, I see uh, the yellow box and white box. The yellow box shows the scope of your insurance premium and the white box shows out of the scope. Now if you see over here the top uh, two top uh, icon over here one say show scope and another one say set scope. So you see for example I want the insurance to be paid yearly, quarterly and monthly I can set the scope as up to month. So likewise your amount sales insurance premium is also scope of insurance premium is year, quarter, month, up to month. So this is the place, this is how you can set the, uh, the scope of your majors and define and specify your major is going to consolidate up to what level. Now let's look at the end user view, how it looks to the user. So for example, uh, I take two major. First I take uh, a major called amount sold which is fully additive major. So I pick up the hierarchy from my dimensional view, dimensional hierarchy, I drag and drop and look at my fully additive major called amount sold. And I pretty much enable the drill behavior as drill down and you see the value is getting consolidated or drilled down dynamically at all dimension. This is my total sales for all year. As I go down, four year sales, four year individual sales, and then I further go down, a quarterly sales and monthly sales. Right? Other way, you can do the other way around also drill up. This is three quarter sales, sorry, three month sales, drill up a quarterly sales, and drill up a yearly sales. So your amount sold, sold is pretty much getting consolidated at all level with respect to your time dimension. However, if I look at the, uh, the same uh, report with respect to your insurance premium, I would replace the amount sold and place over here insurance premium which is getting consolidated only at year and quarter. If I go down, it will give you a incorrect information. So I process this and I see insurance premium can be paid for yearly for four years the different insurance premium value. Right. I can further go down from year to quarter and you check there can be four insurance premium can be paid in a given year 
for each quarter I can pay one insurance premium. However, you look at this value, when I further go down from month, I find the value is being repeated. You see the repeated value. Why? Because insurance premium can be is associated with quarter. When I go down for month, the kind of data which I get is a misleading information. And it looks to you as if there are three insurance premiums are being paid for each month. Three insurance premium uh, are being paid for each month. So this is how your uh, scope relation determines at what level your majors are going to be consolidated and with respect to what dimension. So that's a pretty small introduction about a scope relationship. If you still have any question, write to us at amit.sharma at bhptraining.com. So thanks for your time for joining the session. Keep watching our Cogno self-learning uh, video tutorial collection from our B, our site www.bisptrainings.com. Thank you. Have a good day ahead.